All right, Shalom. First and foremost, of all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakwadash, the Barnes, the Apostles, the Great Millstone, for teaching us, the Lord, saying truth according to the Barn Rule well, and peace and blessings so reflect to the nation of Israel, take the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, willing into a Lord's willing edifying lesson on, um, you know, it's worse. Uh, you know, it's it's inspired by the other pastor Hari did a, a video a few hours ago. Uh, we are obsessed with all the prophecies that includes the M O T to the B, and I saw that the other pastor Kabar did a response video as well. I've not been able to watch that video, and you know, it was Jake who uh, can't really. Jake had asked a question, but I, I'm I'm gonna get it on the. I'm going to bring out a few scriptures on how we are commanded by Yah, by Shema Shai, to speak the truth, you know, and nothing but the truth. You see, this is Numbers 23 and 12. And he answered and said, must I not take heed to speak that which the Lord, Yah, by Shema Shai, have put in my mouth? Right. Let's read this in the NLT. It says, but Balaam replied, I will speak only the message that the Lord puts in my mouth. And as we are the messengers of Yahweh Shemah the prophets of the Lord, we are commanded to take the message that we've been given and to give you warning. Right? When we read in Ezekiel 3 and 16 and and it came to pass at the end of the seven at end at the end of the at the end of seven days that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So this warning, this message is ultimately from Yah by Shemalashai. These are not our words. We did not make this this whole we did not write the scriptures, right? As it tells us here in um I believe it's second Peter's uh one and nineteen. It says we have also a more sure word of prophecy Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, right? And we're taking heed to it's, it's prophesied that men will stand up in the last days and, and, and will preach, right? And we're taking heed to that prophecy, right? We're taking heed, you know, uh, to the prophecies of Yah by Shema Shai, as in the MOT to the B, World War Three. Right, the war Armageddon, the war that's going to totally annihilate uh Babylon the Great and and, and bring desolation to these heathen nations when Yahweh Shai comes back with the band of angels and nuclear uh, holocaust, you know, is, is going on, you see. It says, Whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. See, the, 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 there's a light shining here, right? It says, in the NLT, it says, Because of that experience, we have been, we have even greater confidence in the message proclaimed by the prophets, right? And we are, the, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. The prophets had a message back then, and we have a message now. And, and we're singing that same song, you know, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of their prophecy. And Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book, you see. You must pay close attention to that, to what they wrote. For their words are like a lamp shining in a dark place. Right? So in this dark place, Babylon the Great, this valley of the shadow of death, these words are the lamp saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. This is the reality. This is what's coming, right? The Lord is using his prophets to shine a light on what's really coming and how to prepare yourselves for the times that we're about to enter into, right? Here it is. We're telling you that that, that house, you know, that, that you're building up 
fi- a fire is gonna uh, you know it's gonna catch fire, right? Should you be worried about building up the house or or escaping, right? And the only way to escape is by taking heed to the ways of Yah by Shemal Shai, trusting in the name of the Lord, and ultimately. Like another lesson the elder apostle Tahar did, you, you got to pray that you're of the elect, right? And the elect will have a certain mindset. They will be moving in a certain way, right? How bad do you really want it is the question, right? We can't make ourselves of that number. But, but what are you doing to make your calling and election sure? It says you must pay close attention to what they wrote, for their words are as a light shining in a dark place until the day dawn, right? And Yahweh Shai, the morning star, shines in your hearts, right? Uh, back in the KJV, it says, Knowing this, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation, right? So we're giving you the whole truth, you know? There's only one way to interpret the M-O-T to the B, and we're here to break it down to you, right? We're here to tell you what it is plainly because many false teachers and false prophets have gone out into the world and shall deceive many. You should be, you know, grateful that Yahweh by Shema Shai sent forth his men. You know, you should be grateful that Yahweh Shai, you know, was had the spirit of willingness to go on the cross and, and to make his body a living sacrifice, you know, for his people. And we got to be grateful that the Heavenly Father, you know, through the gave us Yahweh Shai and through Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, we've been given this grace period, right? And and, and, and that you 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 are you are a uh, privileged, <laughs> right? We're we're all privileged to be privy to the knowledge of Yahweh by Shema Shai and what he's about to bring. Right, it says, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of men, but holy men of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Right, and we're speaking in these last days as we have been moved by the Spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. This is, um,. I was just trying to make sure I, I wasn't holding anything before I got that priest up. I don't believe I was, right? Let's get Luke 1 and 70, and then um, let's get our next priest up. This is St. Luke chapter 1, verse 70. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, right? So the Lord always spoke through prophets, Right, and the duty of a prophet is to prophesy, right? As we read here in Isaiah, I got two precepts on my mind, but you know, I'm getting these first. Isaiah 42 and 8, I mean, verse 9 Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Yeah, you know, we hear about the works of old that Yahweh Shema Washai has done, what, what he said he was going to do, and how we did it. Right, delivering his people out of Egypt, right? But but the Heavenly Father is here to declare new things, new works, right? We 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 can tell you the things are coming, such as the MOT to the B, that the Heavenly Father is gonna send plagues upon this modern day Egypt again. But 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 to tell you that the the the, the you know what he's actually gonna do, the Lord can <laughs> you know uh cause a, a plague of you know all types of unknown things that are not privy to us and these things are coming and and, and that's why we're constantly warning you the mot to the b is coming and the only way to escape is that revelation is three and ten because thou hast kept the word of my patience i also should keep thee from the hour of temptation that shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth so we're telling you, you want to escape these times that we're coming into, right? And be hid from the times of trouble, right? Knowing that the MOTB is the the, 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 the micro C hip, you know, and us constantly warning you about those things should put you in the mindset that you have to get right, that we have to get right. 
that, that we need to hold on to what we have. We need to keep fighting. We need to keep pushing forward. You know, now is not the time to give up. We're, we're so close, right? If it was further away, you know, but 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 now it 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 is so close, right? This is why you should keep fighting. Us giving you warnings about the M O T to the B, right, and about all the prophecies. These things should you know and, and excite you. These things should should you know give you yeah you know the Lord is on His way back. Yeah, I, I should keep fighting. Things are getting better. Things are will get better. Right? Zechariah 8 and 16. These are things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. Let no let none let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against your neighbor, and let no false oath for all these things. For all, for for all these are things that I hate, saith the Lord. Right? Do not scheme. Don't scheme against each other. Stop your love of telling lies that you swear are the truth. I hate all these things, says the Lord. So the Lord hates when we tell you tell you lies, but we've been commanded to speak. We've been commanded to. To tell you the truth, and you should be appreciative of that. That we're not telling you lies. We're not selling you a crash course. <laughs> we're not selling you a, 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 a online course, and you have to pay for it. No, we are freely giving you this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Right? We're freely giving you this, and it tells you know, John, you know, told us here. Uh, the book of John, this is St. John 3, and what is that, uh, that is, I want to read verse 34, but before I get 34, I'm going to get verse 23, is it 23? Oh, 27. Uh, St. John 3 and 27. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Right? This knowledge is not <laughs> given of, of mortal men. Right? Mortal men just can't get the secrets of the, uh, the what the Heavenly Father wants to do down here upon the earth. Right? How can you know a, a man's secrets unless he tells you them, right? And the Heavenly Father has told us his secrets via Yahweh Shai, right? So we have his secrets in uh, what the Heavenly Father tells us in secret and in dark. We proclaim those things upon uh, the, the rooftops, right? Out here on the highways and hedges and doing these sit-down lessons. These are things that we have been commanded to do. Right, and if you can't receive it, it's because the heavenly Father has not allowed you to receive it, and you should pray that the heavenly Father have mercy upon you. Right, this is Saint John three, and thirty two. Uh. 31, it says, He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from the heaven is above all, right? Uh, Scripts say, uh, they, are, they are of the world, therefore the world heareth them, right? We are of the Most High. Uh, you see? They that are of the Most High hear of us. It says, he, he has come from above and is greater than anyone else. Right? Yahweh has been given a rank, a name, a authority that is above everyone else, even the angels. We are of the earth and we speak of earthly things, but he has come from heaven and is greater than anyone else. Right? 
and what he hath seen and heard, that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. He testifieth about what he has seen and heard, but how few believe what he tells, right? Because it's not, it has to be given to you, right? And, 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 and we've been given these heavenly things in these last days via Yahweh Shai, right? And how few people actually believe the things that we're saying and actually appreciate that we are actually speaking the truth. You want to be told lies, you know? You want to be told, uh, you know, you want to be told lies, then go somewhere else. Click off the video. Go watch someone else to be told lies. We will speak the truth as we, as we have been commanded. It says, he that receiveth his testimony have set to his seal that the most high is true. You've been sealed, you know, you there's there's no taking away of that right there there's no adding to it. there's no taking away the, the, it's true it's sealed for he whom yahweh have sent speaketh the words of god for god giveth not the spirit by him unto measure spirit by measure unto him and speaking of yahweh shai Right? And in these last days, he has sent forth us. Right? It says, The Father loveth the Son and giveth all things into his hand. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Right? And the name of the God, right, is Yahweh. Right? That's the name. You know, it says God there. His name is Yahweh. And the son name who the, who you people call Jesus Christ, right? His name is Yahweh Shai. You have Yahweh and you have Yahweh Shai. And they have sent us in these last days to 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 preach a message of truth, right? The one hundred percent truth according to the Holy Bible, right? Uh, what is that first? John. Mm, four and um that was the one I was looking for yesterday but, but um I was reading but uh let me just type it in because we're gonna close the lesson now oh first John 4 um, sometimes you know you want to challenge yourself to try to find these before you look them up um Scriptures say, he goes, uh, there is no lie of the truth. It's in First John. I want to I wanna find it, but, you know, I'll do, I'll do that on my own when I'm studying. But let me just look it up for brothers, because the live video is to be watching right now, right? First John 2. Okay, yep. And we will start at uh, First John 2 and 20. But ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. An unction is an anointing, right? For those that have seen a uh, Lion King, you know, it's a good uh, example, right? Uh, you had uh, Simba. He was anointed at the beginning of the movie to be king. And no matter what he went through in life, you know, his... his uh, destiny was to be king right and, and that's how the movie ended he, he he ended up being the king right and, and we have an anointing right it says uh uh to anoint right so we have an anointing it says con consecrating yahweh shai to the masonic office and furnishing him with the necessary powers for his administration. So we've been we've been given the necessary thing that which is necessary the necessary powers for our administration, right? But ye have an unction and anointing, right? 
to, to preach the word from the Holy One, and you know all things. We know all things that pertain to the prophecies of Yah by Shema Shai that will befall us in these last days, right? The meat and the potatoes. It says, I have not written unto you because ye have not known the truth, because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and, and that no lie is of the truth, right? So the, these, these letters are written to those that, that know the truth. We do these lessons uh, uh, to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. That's why we, we say uh, peace and blessings to the, to the elect, right? Because that's who we are doing these uh, letters and epistles for. And if you can't get it, you know, then it ain't for you, right? Or, or pray that the Lord has mercy upon you, right? Lord's willing, you're edified. Till next time I want to say, Shalom.